As you guys already know, I am Murdoch. Hello, I'm Rochelle. And we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be spending the next couple of days learning candle making. And she's going to be the one <laughs> teaching me. Now, this is going to be a new series that I'm wanting to start up where I take uh, three days to learn a new skill. And then at the end of that three days, I have to present the knowledge that I have obtained before my peers and my instructor. And if they laugh at me, then so be it. And if they don't, then it, so be it All also. encouragement. Yeah, uh, it good, it, it's good <laughs> yeah. vibes here. That's, that's what we're going for. What do I have sitting in front of me? So right now you have some basic container wax. So we're gonna basically just kind of melt this down and put it into a container. And we have here our wicks. And so we'll actually need a pair of scissors to be able to trim these two okay. thighs for each container. And we can go from there. All right, so I think we're gonna go with uh, the terracotta first. Yeah. And then we're gonna move up to the pumpkin, which is what Jinx picked out. I, um, yeah, she she liked that, yes. so she decided to. That Maybe she we should do that. like a pumpkin spice kind of. That's actually a really good kind of idea. Pumpkin container. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first one, I don't know if I'm going to put a lot of like extra smelly goodies, but uh, you brought. We a couple could just of things, do a right? basic, yeah, and maybe since it's in a terracotta, we could put a couple of like the crystals that I brought on yeah. top. Good news, by the way. Each one of these candles that I make are going to be given away on our channel. Another little bit of good news, which I think uh, you've already been able <laughs> to check out, is we now have merch. Yes. And check it out. Our merch store, the link will be in the description of this video. It's in the bio for our YouTube channel. It's going to be on our Facebook and our Instagram as well as our Twitter. So Sweet. make sure to go and check those out. And there's some really, really awesome stuff like this one right here. And if you guys are not uh, acquainted with it just yet, we have This Is My Durian shirt, which is probably one of my absolute favorites. And then for a limited time only, we have our Grand Live Donkey t-shirts. It looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a likeness to me, but you know, <laughs> there's gonna be something very special about those Grand Live Donkeys and they are not gonna be on the shelves for very, very long. I will be taking them down probably in the next month. So make sure to go over there and grab some of that merch while you can. And those of you who buy the Grand Left Donkey t-shirts will be getting something extra special a little bit later on down the road. So get it while you can. All right, so let's get right into this. What should we be doing right now? It looks like the we're gonna use sous vide water to heat up our wax just for the ease of it. So we need a container to put the wax in. How about a vacuum seal bag? That should work perfectly. So just vacuum yeah, yeah. seal it up inside the bag. Let's mess. And then just toss it in. Yeah. I, yep. All right. So now we just put that in there. Yeah. Basically, that you know, it'd be the same thing as like putting it in a double boiler, like on your stove. So yeah. Okay. Much just. You're, you're the teacher here, so. in there. It'll probably float, but that's okay. And, well, yeah. it's actually doing a really good job yeah. of sinking. Yeah. How long? And now I don't. I've never used a sous vide machine to make candles before. I guess till it um, turns into liquid. This is interesting, new technique. Is this the same principle as if you watch paint dry kind of thing? You know. Or watch the pot doesn't boil. I don't know, maybe. I'm not gonna sit here and have you guys just watch us the entire time. We're going to cut to it being done so that you can see how bad I feel at making candles. In the meantime, do you wanna measure your wick? So I'm assuming that that's gonna go in here like mm -hmm. so. And then I need to measure it like what about maybe an inch so, above the thing? Pull straight up. Yep. Now go up. Oh. I would cut it about right there. So. You want it to be more straight through your candle. That way it burns evenly. Okay. Because if it's kind of wonky, wonky, wonky donkey off to the side. Let's uh let's cut this for right now, and we will be back to see this after it is done melting down. It's done. It's ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. You seem we're like gonna, you're ready. We're gonna roll the wick a little bit here, just around. Uh huh. And then just kind of show that to the camera what you just did there, because it, it like fascinates me. Wrap the top of the wick. So we cut it a little extra long, uh -huh. and this is the purpose: is we're just kind of like wrapped it around a couple times. Yeah. Make sure your wick is nice and straight. Okay. Ta-da! Do you want to cut it open and then? Well, I think the more important question here is, do you want to build a snowman? But yes, I want. I will cut it open. Oh, this We're so gonna good. be cutting. All right. So just like, just go crazy with it, maybe. 
I guess. Crazy. Like, just, oh yeah, let's just, like, you know, let's just go wild, you know what I mean? All right, there we go. I think that's good. Now we're just, your fingers. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just put a tiniest little drop in the bottom, and that's just gonna kind of help hold this bottom plate of the wick in place. Okay, so, just, all right, just a little drop, just a little bitty drop, right? Yep, perfect. All right, there. All right, and it's gonna hold it in place. Now you can finish pouring the rest of your... Should I let that cool first? No, it'll be fine. Yeah, you're good. You can see it's already starting to cool. Just all of it? Yeah, it will. I mean... Can I make it all fit? I think we can make it all fit. Yeah, perfect. You wanna get that candle wick good. I, I tried to get the candle wick. You did perfect. We didn't even cover that and I did it without her having to tell me to. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm already a professional. <laughs> so, this is done now? I can light well, it right now? No, no, unfortunately, no. Um, so you wanna probably let this set overnight. So I would say probably at least like 12 hours mm. and let it cure. Rocks, the, the yeah. stones and stuff. Um, well, we need to, if we put them in right this moment, because it is still very much liquid, they're gonna sink to the very bottom. So we can wait a little bit longer for it to kind of cool off. It'll come in a little bit more solid, not quite all the way. And then we'll just grab a few of the, <laughs> of the little tiny rocks that we can put on top. We could even put a little bit of cinnamon on top. You just wanna like sprinkle a little bit on top. Uh, now do the other side. Just kind of make it look pretty. So I'm just gonna pour these out. Pick whatever you want. That one right there. So okay. this is, I brought a big piece. That's beautiful. Specifically for this purpose, because I knew you would pick that one. Oh, you knew. <laughs> I knew you would pick that one. That one is a piece of a geode. Right. Yeah. I, I See, so, I, I love bismuth also. That's one of my absolute yep. favorite things is bismuth. Business. It's gorgeous. I think I want to use that. The reason I didn't pick that one is because you had some in here, and I wanted to use that one for the last one that I do. Maybe make no. It look like a, make it look like a cool drink. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yay. I like it. Take some mica? A little bit of that mica. Ooh, flashy, flashy. And here's another piece of yes. geode. Remember guys, this candle that I'm making right now is going to be available in a giveaway very, very soon. That's awesome. I made a candle. You made a candle. Is it ready to burn yet? No. I would say let it set for like 12 hours, especially using the container fill wax. Let it set overnight, 12 hours, and then you should be good to go ahead and burn it in. So yeah, that's awesome. So that's that's pretty simple. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. So you're gonna be back tomorrow to yep. help me with another one, but we're gonna do or we're gonna do the next one in a little bit of a different fashion. Just here? a little bit, just a little bit of a different okay. yeah. make it more of a pumpkin-y spice theme. Um, yeah, yeah. And possibly add some other wax into the white wax to make it orange. Orange. Oh. I mean, you gotta ooh. have an orange pumpkin, right? So I almost messed up and didn't show you guys me lighting it uh, for the first time. It's really hot. Yay! We hey! Fire! Fire! Yes, dude, that is so cool. Just say that I think that that is the coolest candle that I've ever made. Heck yeah, I think you did a great job. That's also the only candle I've ever made. <laughs> Day two. Yay. I'm a little nervous yeah. here because we have to use a actual candle that's been burnt out completely, has stopped burning because it, uh, the wick reached all the way down to the this. The metal piece. The that. <laughs> the that. I am going to be recycling that a little bit here. And also she forgot to bring anything that uh, would actually work for Oops. the orange color. So <laughs> that's okay. That's okay because we, have, we do have that. Right. And it smells amazing. It does smell good. It's a, it's a ginger snap or ginger cinnamon. It's, yeah, it says ginger, ginger something. Ginger cookie. Ginger so spice ginger, is what it was. Spice. Ginger spice. Yeah. Got it. That'll Which, work great with the pumpkin. Spice. Yeah. I think that's going to work fantastically. So we have those melting down right now in the sous vide. And hopefully the one that's in the jar will work. So yeah, we got to wait down. for just a little bit for all that to fully melt down. So I'm very excited. I'm very happy about how this one right here turned out. You did great. Thank you. It's like a perfect candle. 
I, I, I'm. And it burns really well. It burns it burned super just a little well. bit yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, at the end of this video, tell you guys how you can win this candle as well as the one that we're about to make. But for right now, we're going to cut to the time frame of which that is fully melted. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. We sat here waiting the entire time. Totally. Not even talking to one another, just no, waiting. Just, just waiting. Where's the bath water right there? Well, how do you propose I get this out? You want to help? I mean, I can help. You, you just reach in there all nonchalant without even <laughs> asking. So all of that wax right there is now able to be used for set. So let's go ahead and cut the wick really quick first. Yeah. Cut. And then we're going to take this, mm -hmm. take this and wrap it. All right. Yep. Just enough to kind of help hold it in place. That is not touching. Just unwind <laughs> it just a little bit. Hey, I think yeah. I got it. Also, don't forget that before you pour most all of it in, you want to put a little bit on the Just bottom. Just a little to, to set that right Correct. there. Correct. That smells great. Oh, that smells, <laughs> it smells phenomenal. So good. <laughs> all right, so I just want to do this really, really gently because we don't want to spill. It's very hot. I'll let you kind of pour it over top of the wick. Perfect. Oh, too, don't that's want to okay. do too much. Oh, it's right, really just hot. still hot. Kind of make sure we can't. Um, Kevin yeah. mid maybe? I got this stuff all over my fingers. Smell my fingers. Hey. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pour the rest of that in. Oh, it's gonna look nice too. And then nice and kind of fall. Up there. Just getting all kinds of wax on me here. Yum. It smells, I'm sure, a heck of a lot better than I it wish tastes. Smell vision was a thing. All right. Smell. <laughs> Smell my finger, guys. All right, so I want you to kind of check out what's happening here. It's dry. It's, it's cool from the top up. So and the also down. your wick has unraveled slightly. Uh huh. So maybe next time let's just make it a little tighter. Okay. I mean, it's still good. It's still good holding it in place. Should I move it a little no, bit? No, just leave it now. How'd it go? It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. <laughs> yeah, and we, we yeah. still have more of this, too, to be able to use for... Uh, more more yeah, yeah. The, our, maybe our next video uh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or maybe our next uh, candle that I'm gonna do for right. yeah, yeah, yeah. the final the, the, the top off I think so I think it'll work right yeah this is taking forever guys like forever it is it's still liquid all right we will see you guys here in just a second once this has enough time to solidify yep all right so it is a little jello-ish but at the same time, it looks like it's also going to be just right for me to put these. Uh, and I decided to go with these citrine, like they're like little crystals. And they're absolutely beautiful. One side is a nice burnt orange, almost like an amber. And the other side is a nice, clear, very crystal-like. So, so I think I'm going to stick this one with that side up. Yep, perfect. And I'm going to put one here. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks cool. kind of looks like, oh, bum, bum. I think that one's going to Titanic down. <laughs> it's not going to very, be very pretty on top, but it still looks kind of cool. And I can't wait for it to finish dry. That looks really, really cool. I meant to put one of those like with the white side up or the clear side up instead of the amber side up. But oh, yeah. I think this still I think looks, it looks really great. Cool. Guys, this is so awesome. I can't wait for you guys to be able to see this. This is really, really cool. All right. Nice. We'll see you guys once this guy completely solidifies. All right, so here we are, and check this guy out. Like, that looks really, really cool. It is not fully cured just yet, like this one is, but it is, uh, it's, it's pretty close. I don't wanna pick it up and move it around right now, but you look at the little cute little curly wick it's got going on. That is day two candle with me behind the wheel just a little bit more than Rochelle here, but tomorrow I'm gonna be doing this completely by myself. A little unnerving, but I think that as good of a teacher as she has been, I, I shouldn't have too much of an issue. I'm gonna have to cut this cute little curly cue off so that I can test run it and make sure that it will actually burn appropriately. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I will show you guys the burning candle. We have a lit candle 
that actually works that I made and I'm super excited about it. Probably a little more so than I probably should be. Probably. Be proud of yourself. No, oh, you know what? We made it. No, no, I made the candle. You yeah. made the candle. Yeah, I made it. Hey, I, I was just here for moral support. I made a candle. <laughs> Not completely by myself. I can't take full credit because she was still kind of coaching me. But tomorrow, I will be fully making a candle. Honey, what do you think? Fire. It's a pumpkin. I love it. And it smells delicious. So yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I really can't wait to give this guy away. But right now, it's time to <laughs> It is day three and guess what happened? Show him. Oh why it's you yeah. did it. The candle fell. The candle fell. She didn't tell me that this could happen. It can. It depends on the wax you use. And since we use like recycled candles. Yeah, recycled. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word. Recycled candle. Yeah. It kind of fell a little bit. But that's okay. You kind of was so ready. So whoever gets that one, good hey, for you. One of the crystals is a little loose. So you can go ahead and have that one. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you're going to get a really wonky. It'll still burn. Yeah, It'll totally. Still burn but it's gonna look a little weird when you get it. It's ma you're making progress. We're gonna see what progress you've made. <laughs> today, today yeah. we are making. <laughs> today, I, I'm, I yeah, I'm not am helping. making some candles using these beautiful tea mugs here. These little teacups. And if you've been on the channel for long enough, you'll know that we got this as a set with a teapot um, at the, uh, the Asian food market. And it was absolutely beautiful. But the, the, the teapot fell and was broken, unfortunately. But that left these guys. So, no use in letting these go to waste. No, not at all. So we're gonna make these into candles. She can't help me throughout this entire process. Now her lips are absolutely sealed. Even if she wants to be like, ooh, she can't. Y'all don't laugh if I'm over here making faces. She can't. Nope. Be a little proactive and just, that should be enough. A whole block of wax. Just like that. And I'm going to just let that all melt together. Hopefully it won't fall. Definitely blaming you. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys prepared by wrapping my wick, a little bit more of a wrapper. And that's almost there. Okay. As you can see on the inside, I have that wrapped up and it's was centered. So far, how's it looking? You can't say nothing because you can't help me. For each one of these, I'm going to put one small little piece of this bismuth right on the side. I'm gonna let it cool a, quite a bit before I do that and then just kind of force it into there just a little bit. Our wax is melted. I have to go ahead and finish doing this right here real quick. And if, well, you can't help me. You could do that. You could take that out for me, right? Of That's course. not cheating, right? Uh, no, I'm not necessarily assisting you making the Ooh, back off, this is my wax. I don't want to get any of this water into my teacups because that could potentially just destroy everything. Now I just got to transfer point A into point B. Before I do that, I want, you see how it's kind of separated? I need to mix this. This smells so flippin' delicious. That will probably look really cool on camera. You're welcome. All right, so we're just gonna mix this up. Oh yeah, there we go. So being the fact that I have this stick here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out and there's a hair. It's, yeah, it's not the part of the thing on here. I'm going to put my stick into the bottom and then pour down the stick. And what that will do is cause it to travel down the stick to the bottom without spilling any. And this is a trick that I don't think you even knew, did you? I'm impressed. Pour this one in, just enough to cover the bottom and make sure that the Little metal plate sticks to the bottom of the cup. And then we let that solidify. I'm not gonna touch the table so that I'm not accidentally shaking it around too much. I think most of these are fairly centered. And yeah, let me let me show you guys what I'm working with here. So this is what she showed me. And as you can see, this one right here has just a little bit more wax in the bottom. And then this one's already almost fully solidified. And then once that, once that gets done, once that gets done, once that gets done, on to 
into into the candles here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wait for this to solidify and then we'll continue. Yeah. Yeah. We're going on a ghost hunt Sunday. Yes, we are. If you guys don't It'll know about- It'll be my about, first one. Really? Yeah. If you guys don't know about our other channel, Ghost Hunting in South Carolina, it's gonna be rebranded very, very soon. Make sure to go over there and check it out. I will leave a link in the description to that channel. We have not been active on that channel for almost two years now, but we're fixing I'm to so start I'm so glad to push it. you. Yeah. Push you, yeah. let's start. We're gonna do it. Don't push me too hard because I've already been pushed by multiple ghosts on that channel. And if you go and check it out, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. She knows what I'm talking about. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so these have solidified quite well. So now I'm going to pour. And this is a little bit of a lighter wax than what it was before. She jumped right on that. I didn't even have to ask her. We're going to go here. I'm going to try to make them all as even as possible. I don't have enough to fill them all the way up to the brim. Oh, there we go. What I'm gonna do is something that a lot of people who pour epoxy do, does some, and uh, I'm going to use a torch. Oh, she already grabbed the torch too. And I'm going to use the torch to pop the bubbles. There's a little bit of oh, bubble I right see there. That. And if I just take and just braise it, you see how it just popped that bubble without any kind of is issues? That's exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna melt this on the side here and just let it kind of run down. We're going to let this uh, cool for a little bit and then we will see you here in just a moment. Okay. So this is what we're looking at right now, guys. So each one of these did the exact same thing where they kind of like did this little cream fill like dimple in the middle, right? So, but you know, it's okay that it did so this. It works. Because being the fact that this did down into there like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just melt the top here which should level it out. I'm gonna turn it down here so as not to burn the um, the wick itself. So I'm I'm pretty excited about this. I think I think that for my first candles that I did on my own. Oh, that one's really pretty. Um, I think I did a really great job. I'm very pleased with these, just like that. And we have four beautiful handcrafted candles. Like strictly made by me, and then my little jacked up pumpkin, I'm here. and then the very first candle that I've ever had uh, made. I mean, we, we yeah, you did most of it. I just kind of you coached. I nudged. You, you poked and prodded <laughs> just enough. Yeah. On to how you can earn one of these two candles here. It's very very simple. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Go over to Instagram and add me as a friend over there and send me a message. And all you have to do in my DMs uh, is just simply say done. Once you do that, you're automatically entered to win one of these two candles. They will be randomized as to who gets which one. And I'll make sure to let everybody know who the winner of these candles are, is, is. <laughs> I'll let y'all know. the winners are. I'll let y'all know. Yeah. As far as giveaways go, our winner for our last giveaway, which is this beautiful behemoth of a birdhouse, which comes complete, by the way, with a Grand Life Adventure logo sealed right in the middle there. The best one that I've done so far. That's a good one. Nancy, with Gifts HQ, you have officially won Yay. yourself a beautiful birdhouse. I will get this in the mail as soon as I possibly can. I hope that you love it. Make sure that you take a photo with it, especially if you can get a photo of it in a tree, especially if you can get a photo of it in a tree with a bird oh. sitting right here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like uh, down below. Um, also, again, I can't stress enough. I love you guys and I appreciate everything that y'all do for us. Uh, if you're not a Grand Lifer already, hit that subscribe button. We love our Grand Lifers. And as you can see, we have plenty of giveaways now and we're gonna have a lot more coming in the near future with lots of merch coming your way. Nancy, I'm going to make sure that I put all of your social media accounts in the description below. That way people can come and find you and see all the amazing work that you do over on your YouTube channel as well as on your Instagram. Not much left to say other than we love you and we will see you on the next Grand Life Adventure. Bye. Bye.